In this presentation, we will set up a payroll item within QuickBooks for insurance. This being insurance related to vision, it's going to be a payroll item before taxes within QuickBooks. Here we are. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. the home page we currently have the open windows open you can open the open windows go into the view drop down and select in the open windows list we're now going to add an inventory i'm not an inventory add a payroll item which we're going to do by going to the lists drop down and we're going to select the payroll item list payroll item list if you're using the free version the manual version you may want to go to the interview process which would be under the employees and go down to the payroll setup and that might give you more of an interview kind of setup if you would just want to test things out in the free manual version we're in the paid version here which gives us that interview process so we're going to go to the payroll items drop up down here and we're going to go to new new payroll item we're going to use the easy setup and say next we're going to go to the insurance and benefits and say next and within the insurance and benefits we are going to select the vision so we did dental last time we're going to select the vision this time we're going to select the vision and say next we're going to say that the employee pays for it all once again all employee paid but this time we're going to say that the payment is deducted before taxes and we're not going to get into the details of in this portion of you know when it would be or not you can take a look at that, but the t if it was deducted before taxes, if we can get it to qualify for that, then it would be a benefit because, of course, that would be giving more money to the employee because they would get the benefit and they would be able to reduce taxes by it. So this would be the beneficial option. You could take a look at Section 125 for, the, for being able to qualify there. Here, we're going to choose this item and look at what the effect will be when we process the payroll with it as compared to what we did last time with the dental insurance where we said it was uh, payment is deducted after taxes payment is deducted after taxes we have here payment deducted before taxes and that would be for section uh, 125 irs code the tax code okay so let's go to next and see what we have here we're just going to call this uh, vision vendor so sounds like a nice name actually and, but that's just going to be a mock vendor for the for vision insurance. We're not going to set up a payment schedule, and we're just going to say next and finish. And that should set up our payroll item for vision. I'm going to make, maximize this so we can see if we can find where they put this. Here it is, vision. This one is going to be pre-taxed, meaning uh, it's going to be reducing the pay for federal income taxes, whereas this one, dental, was taxable. So these are the two kind of big comparisons we're making between these two items, which are much the same, similar, other than that change. Okay, so now we're going to go to the uh, employees up top, employee sender, and we went, we're went. we going back to our employee, Anthony, we got, you know, vision and insurance, and Anthony wants it. So we're going to say, okay, let's set up Anthony with vision. Maybe Anthony's coming to us and telling us to set this stuff up, and we're doing it setting it for anthony up here and so we're going to add to this the uh, vision insurance now in the payroll items so we're in the payroll information we're in the additions items here additions deductions and company contributions and we are going to go down to the vision there it is vision pre-tax and we're going to say that the vision we'll say is 25 and we're just making up these numbers, of course, but we're going to compare the 25 to the 20 for the dental. So that'll be that. We're going to say OK, and then we'll run the payroll uh, with that added item and see what the difference is as we have added that item. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.